Auto accidents are a fact of life. Thankfully, safety measures designed to reduce or prevent serious injuries have been instituted in the United States. These measures include child safety seats. Countless lives have been saved by child seats. But more must be done. Those same devices that hold a child securely can have devastating consequences as well. When an accident occurs, the initial impact is not the only danger. Fires can break out, the vehicle may be subject to sinking, or have landed in harm's way. Time becomes critical, evacuation urgent. Adults can easily free themselves. Unfortunately, children are completely dependent upon others to let them out. When there is risk of fire or drowning, any delay can have devastating consequences. The harness release mechanisms currently installed on child safety seats are complicated and time-consuming to operate, posing a serious threat to total safety. A doll was used in the following scenes. The participants were selected randomly. The scenes are actual candid recordings. To demonstrate the point, we asked a number of adults to participate in a test. The scene was set with a child in place, safely harnessed. Individually, the participants were told that there was an emergency and asked to quickly remove the child from the safety seat. The release time ranged from 6 seconds to 35 seconds, depending on familiarity with the operation of the child seat. With training and practice, the best response time was still double the time required using UA's new emergency harness release system. Children are our most precious cargo. More is needed to be done to protect them. The University of Alabama Office for Technology Transfer, along with sponsored inventors and engineers, has developed two methods to add mechanisms to existing child safety seats in order to dramatically reduce release time. We call it the Emergency Harness Release System, or EHRS for short. This is how it works. Method 1. To release the child from the child seat, an adult simply pulls the EHRS single action release handle located on the top of the seat. This frees the shoulder harness. The belts then easily slide through the belt holders, instantly and completely releasing the child from the seat. The time required? Two brief seconds. Method 2. To release the child from the child seat, an adult simply presses the red release button. Again, this single action releases the lap belts and shoulder harnesses simultaneously. Please note the mechanics behind the two methods. Method 1 utilizes pins to anchor the shoulder belts to the car seat. These pins are connected to release cables that lead to a sliding release handle located in the back of the seat. When the handle is pulled vertically, the pins are removed, releasing the shoulder belt loops and allowing them to slip out of the retainer slots. The child is freed. Method 2 utilizes a shoulder belt retainer connected to a special release button by an adjustable telescoping panel. This allows both upper and lower retaining belts to release, in tandem, with the push of a button. Both mechanisms clearly display emergency markings. Further, with these streamlined devices, simple instructions can easily be conveyed, such as pull the red handle or push the red button, thereby eliminating confusion and saving valuable time. If you are as serious about child safety as we are, UA's Office of Technology Transfer wants to work with you. For more information or a demonstration of this new potentially life-saving technology, please contact the University of Alabama Office for Technology Transfer, 205-348-5433. Together, we can do more.